Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm G Paul Silvermane, and this is a Marvel Strike Force video. This one's all about the strike pass, okay? Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you on three accounts. There are three different tiers, um, and we're going to discuss them. Essentially, I have an account that's level 40, and then I believe it goes from level 50 to 69 is tier 2. And they get different stuff from the first tier. And then tier 3 is the max, which is anything over 69, I believe. Um, 70 and up will get the third tier, which I do buy. But um, I'm a main. The main is the only one I spend on, so. But I absolutely think it's worth it. I'm going to kill my my camera here. Boom. And I just got Bishop up here for my intro. Um, he's awesome. I want to show him off as much as I can. Um, he's actually improved since this picture was taken, so. Maybe we'll get an update and it'll say 200k next time. I don't know. Um, what I do want to do is I want to pull up this screen here. And I want to start off by saying they have this thing, the Google Play Points Redemption. If you are using Amazon Coin, they're probably doing their own kind of thing for Black Friday. But here on Google Play, which is what I use for my accounts, um, get they were selling these for 35 points. Um, and they're giving you 4 points per dollar spent right now. So if you bought that 3,000 Power Core offer for 5 bucks or whatever it was you'd get 20 points. Well, 35 points gives you two training orbs and 200 campaign energy. Um, I got like 200 or 300 gold training materials because I bought it a couple times and then I went back today and it was gone. So I don't know if it's gone for good. You have a, a limit on how many times you can buy it. Um, but I quit buying it because I literally farmed every character I have left to farm with campaign energy. And uh, I didn't want to buy anymore because it literally would just sit there. All I could do is farm gear and I got more gear than I need. I guess I could go farm some teal gear um, now that I think about it, but I did not. So I just want to show you that. If that's something you do, if you use Google Play and you're a spender, absolutely go check that out. Um, if not, you know, it's cool. If you're free to play, it doesn't affect you at all. Um, also, there was this in here I want to show you. Um, Where did you go? Calling wing, no thank you. I will not be doing that out of the arena orb. I'm sorry. But this is the letter they send to you when the Strike Pass started. And they send it to all my accounts. But it says, now live season of Strike Pass. Um, rack up big rewards by completing your daily objectives. And uh, certain dailies also reach Strike... Re your dailies reward Strike Tokens, which unlock these. And then you claim these rewards. It's just bonus rewards. Um, earn Strike Tokens to hit a season-long milestone rewards. You can also spend Power Cores to immediately reach the next Strike level. Which is 200 Power Cores per level. Is In my opinion, if you're on the last one... And you have, weren't able to get enough points to unlock the last one. I would probably spend the cores because it's, it's gold promo credits and such. And they're quite hard to get. Um, I would not spend the power cores on anything else, honestly. And that's only if I wanted to reach out last tier. If I wasn't even close to last tier, I probably wouldn't spend. Um, your strike level refreshes each season. So it just starts over. And it goes, I think, 28 days or something like that. I often find trouble getting to level 56 on my main account. Um, and it comes down to the wire every time. But on this free to play, I was at 56, like, or my my G Paw Silvermane account, I think I maxed it and still had plenty of time left. Um, reward tiers. Commander level determines your strike pass and tier rewards. And this is the controversy here is um, is it worth buying the tier three, the tier two, the tier one? It's all different rewards and they all cost the same amount of money, I do believe. Um, let me go ahead and check here, actually. Activate. Um, you're not logged in, it says. Okay, so I don't know. You're not logged in, it says. Okay. So that's weird. Um, I do believe it is the same price. Um, $20 a month strike pass. Now, it should be cheaper, but we're going to get into that. That's what I'm saying here. We're going to discuss it, and I'm going to actually got a breakdown of all the numbers of what you get and what's worth it and what's not. But strike one is level 10 to 49, um, and my account's 40 for my tier one, and my strike two is 50 to 69, which he's level 63. And then my main accounts 85 obviously so it's your commander level at the start of the season locks in place so you can't change it during the season um premium strike pass upgrade your premium strike pass to earn additional rewards for each strike level um and right here strike pass three it says it right on it um strike pass one strike pass two okay and it's locked in um there was actually a problem with strike pass one it didn't even go into effect right away so like, whereas my number three is at Strike Pass 4, I did all my dailies on my main, and I'm still at level one. Um, and they give you the first level for free. 
and they give you 150 uh, tokens, which they did not send to me on my free my level 40 account. And there's many other people in my Discord and in, in my alliance saying the same thing. Where's my strike pass? Why isn't it resetting? Etc. So they essentially give you the first two levels by sending you that 150 tokens. Um, so we're already getting ripped off there. I'm assuming there's gonna be some kind of compensation though. Um, I would hope and pray, but who knows? Um, here's my main. I have not purchased it yet, yet, but I will. Um, I had to spend money to get cores to be able to do the Cersei event and uh, refresh the. Uh, oh goodness, welcome. Twenty one Zach two or Zizaki. I don't know. I have to look at the name. My screen's a little blurry right now. Um, welcome to Jeepock Quest, man. Uh, essentially, it gives you 50 power cores for free. And I'll just go along, and I could be in the middle of this. I could be towards the end, and I'll buy this. Um, I don't know if there's any limit on it, because I've bought it when I'm like, you know, 20, 30 levels in before. So I don't know if that this ever cuts off until it, it, it ends. And essentially, they're letting you play through it and see, like, if you miss a day or two, you're not going to get the max rewards. And in that case, you may not want to spend the $20, because some of the best rewards are at the end of this strike pass now there's great rewards all the way throughout the character shards are huge but you that they just give you that option that's kind of cool actually um something to bear in mind here they do a lot of catch-up mechanics like they gave away out 10 million gold to i don't know if it was everybody but i think it was 10 million gold to um if you were below a certain power level as a catch-up mechanic to help those players out i don't believe i got that 10 million login calendar on my main account but i can't recall and I imagine they do other catch-up mechanics, like they give you login calendars that are giving you free character shards on certain characters that we never got or that we already have maxed. We don't get those offers, and we don't get those bonus shards. We don't get, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know what they're giving lower levels, except for the last nine days I've played on my brand new account and seen this. And it's kind of a unique opportunity to show you the difference here and kind of uh, let you decide if we're getting ripped off at level 40 tier 1 or not. Okay, so essentially, everybody gets the 550 cores. Um, before we dive in, though, like and subscribe. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. helps the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe so you get updated when I put out new content. All right. Um, I like to say that every video is that way, you know, people. There could be new viewership out there. I'd love for you to join our community. We also have a Discord you can join. But um, diving in here, I want to start on my main. And I do buy this, like I said. Um, it's a great value. It's one of the few ways to get these gold orbs. And the gold orbs they try to sell you um, in the offers, it's, in my opinion, it's not worth it. People buy them because you need gold. Gold is like the only thing that holds you back here. Um, you can spend over a million a day, but you always want more gold, right? Um, so I have tons of gear, but I just don't have the gold to equip it. Um, but I want to just give you a breakdown here of what you get in these and uh, what you don't. So you'll see here I'm getting ISO 8 energy. Um, that's different than any of the other ones and these ion orbs so it's giving me what i need for my tier essentially because you can't even do isos till you're level 60 anyway i think 55 or 60 55 i believe actually is when you unlock the iso campaign and you can start earning ions and the the badges but my breakdown is 550 power cores if you buy it um i got a free site on the free side you're getting one gold orb one t3 orb four training orbs two t1 ion orbs and you're getting 240 ISO 8 energy. Now, they give you purple and gold gear in here. And I counted the catalysts among the regular gear. I did not separate them. See how you get the purple gear? So I counted all these catalysts. I just added up all the purple pieces and all the gold pieces. So you're going to get a lot more catalysts. Um, damage catalysts, health catalysts, you know, resistance catalysts, um, so on. And these. So these are probably worth a lot more because you get quite a few catalysts in the game. But every character uses catalyst, so you run out on the damage catalyst a lot, in my opinion, as well as, well as the health. Those are the only two that I ever got stuck on for me. Um, but this gear is huge. And that's why I don't have a problem with catalyst now, is because I buy this every month. And uh, it's been going on for six months or so, I believe, uh, give or take. Um, but you get 365 purple gear for free. You get 840 gold gear for free, just for doing your dailies without buying the pass. Um, so I find this this free free is free is free, and the free site is amazing. It helps all players. Absolutely, you should max your strike pass and your battle pass. Free loot is going to help your account grow. And anybody else in the game that doesn't do that, you're essentially gaining on them or growing better than they are. So absolutely do the free side, right? Um, moving down here, they give you 
or they give me orange gear raid orbs and orange elite orbs. Now these are the orange gear raid orbs right here, and these are the good ones. Um, they give you mini uniques, I believe, and such. And then they give you these, which is the orange elite orb fragments. Um, I'm actually gonna back out and show you in the supplies. Here's raid. We'll go down here to orange gear raid orb. Orange elite, so this is the one that gives you the mini uniques. Um, and they're gold version, so this is huge, right? You get these from uh, Ultima 7.5 and Doom Raids also, I believe. I don't know about Doom Raids, but Ultima 7.5, you get these. Um, usually one or two a day type of deal, or per raid, I should say. And then you get these. You get uh, 12 orange, orange gear raid orbs for free, and then you get 20 orange elite orbs for free. So a brand new player, well, it wouldn't be a brand new player. You have to be a level 70 or higher player would get, essentially 20 of these for free and that's huge guys that's i mean they're giving it to you for free now this month is shang chi you get 50 shards for free on his side of the strike pass um which will unlock him because he's a two-star unlock 45 shards and let me tell you i use him on my level 63 account and i believe he's a two-star there maybe a three-star and he just annihilates in the arena in the raids he does everything on that account for me he's an amazing character so two stars he's gonna be just fine starting out and by the time You've got him geared high enough, they'll probably have some way of farming him, I would hope. He'll be in the war store more than likely, in my opinion, because he is just that good. Um, he's amazing. Even outside Heroes for Hire, he is amazing. <laughs> um, but uh, purple gear raid orbs, they actually give you these in the third tier. And in my opinion, I don't need purple gear because I got um, 700 of these purple blitz gear orbs. 751. I don't know the last time I opened these, but I can go in and get any purple piece of gear I want except the mini uniques. Um, the mini uniques are still going to be a bottleneck for you. Um, but it's going to give you your mutant, you know what I mean? So these purple gear orbs that they're giving you, the purple raid gear, or gear orbs, actually do give you mini uniques as well. And I want to show that here because I don't know that people are going to believe it. But where's the... Carbonadium and everything else. It might be on the side pillar as well. I'll have to look here. Other rewards. There it is. The mini uniques. Superior Focus Chief for White Tiger. Ebony Maw or Phoenix. Um, Black Bolt. Um, Shang-Chi. Negasonic. Emma Frost. You get what I'm saying? Here's your miasmas and stuff. This is the mini uniques. Two of one of the listed items. So this is a great way to get mini uniques and level up your character. So those purples are kind of actually necessary because after a while you're no longer getting pu purple orbs as much um, or purple gear as much. You're getting more gold gear, a lot of gold gear. But as you can see, I'm still getting plenty of purple, I guess, from raids on my main account. I just have thousands and thousands, guys, is what I'm trying to say. So it'd be kind of nice if they dropped that and maybe threw in some gold orbs or something because gold is the only bottleneck and there's so many characters to level up that I want to level up. And there's... there's I'll never be able to get enough gold to max out characters I just want to build for fun. And that's, that upsets me, you know what I mean? Um, and that's all the free stuff. They're giving you eight of those purple gear orbs for free. Now, on the spending side, if you spend the $20, you're getting another 50 Shang-Chi, which is a three-star three, three star unlock. Um, I'm going to spend the $20 to get the 100 shards, and it'll bring me up to like 15 short of a five-star on him. <laughs> I have him at G15 already. He's wonderful. I took him straight to max because I felt he was going to be game changing in my opinion. Um, and if you spend the 20 bucks, you get another 500 power cores. That's the 550 power cores there. You get 50 for free and 500 more for spending. You get 12 extra purple gear raid orbs if you spend the 20 bucks. Um, but you also get two more gold orbs, which are valued at $2 to most people. So that's $4 value. And then you get two th tier three orbs, which I don't need any tier three ability orbs. Um, I got like, I don't know, 12,000 T3 ability orbs materials <laughs> that i'll never spend i wish you could trade them in or sell them for gold that'd be nice um and then lower characters could spend their gold on that or something i don't know make an economy here do something with them right and it gives you five extra training orbs so that's your training module crunch and that's why i said when i first started out with my free to play and such and making my youtube channel that i've never seen a training orb or training module crunch because you only have enough gold to spend and the set amount training orbs and while equipping gear and everything else and buying stuff from the supply store, you're just never gonna need that many training materials. Now, if you're spending money and you're getting extra characters and stuff, um, you will run into a problem with training modules. 
I personally do not, though, on my main account here. You also get three more T1 Ion Orbs if you spend the $20, another 240 ISO Energy, and 525 Purple Gear. You get 1,260 more Gold Gear, which is about, it brings you up just over 2,000 Gold Gear if you spend the 20 bucks, um, and about 1,000 Purple Gear. It's pretty insane just for $20 on a main account, level 70 or higher. Now you're going to get another 12 orange gear raid orbs and another 20 orange elite orbs. So it's just doubling those up, leaving you with 24 gear, orange gear raid orbs and 40 orange elite orbs. That is amazing for 20 bucks by itself. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here that's so, so valuable. Um, five gold promo credits at the end and 30 silver promo credits on the free side. You get the 30 on the free side. I want to show you here. I'm reading off my notes and my statistics that I wrote down. But you can see how it goes to purple, to gold. I mean, these are huge right now with Mystics. Um, bottleneck on Mutants. This alleviates a lot of the bottlenecks, but gold, you need more and more gold. These I was actually buying for a while because I couldn't even get enough. Um, I wasn't buying them with real money, but in the supply shop and everything else. But you get these 30 for free, and that is a big chunk. In my beginner's guide, it's all about flash events and challenges. And flash events, Wakandan... Wakandans are useful. That's why I say M'Baku is so, so important from that arena store, guys. It's because if you get him to tier 7, you're getting like, I want to say like 150 of these and 60 or 80 of these once a month. So 30 of these right here is going to supplement you a little bit. So you're essentially you'd be getting 180 if you buy this for 20 bucks and you're doing the tier 7 of the flash event. You're going to have 180 of these. You know what I mean? And you got to spend them wisely, essentially. Pick and choose who you want to star up. Um, very, very wisely, really. As you can see, I got 64 and I spend 40 bucks a month minimum. Um, but that is all for my main account. And I just want to say this, in my opinion, is worth a couple, a couple hundred, maybe $500. I don't know. It's worth a lot of money. The Shang-Chi alone, the hundred shards, I think they were selling that for like 50 bucks. Usually, um, it's usually 50 shards for $35. So that alone, you know what I mean? And then these and these, it's just an immense, immense value here, guys. Um, sensational. I'd recommend it to anybody. I'd recommend it to my mother. I, um, so I want to move on to the tier two, my level 63 account, and it's going to be night and day here a little bit, guys. You're going to, you might have a little shock. So this tier two, and if you have any questions, you can actually go up to this I right here and it'll explain a lot of it to you as well. The tier levels, like the, the level caps where you need to be in such, and it's just going to be, you're going to be where you're going to be. You know what I mean? The free is free. The premium is 20 bucks, I believe. Um, it's not it's saying I don't have an account, so I can't actually activate it and look to see what it costs. But it's twenty dollars on my main account, nineteen ninety nine. Um, I'm I'm assuming it's going to be the same here, but I would hope it was less. Like this one might be ten dollars, and the tier one might be like five bucks or something. Then they'd be worth it. But if they are twenty dollars, which I'm assuming they are, let's dive in here. Tier two, and I'm gonna try to make this as fast as I can. That's why I'm just reading off the statistics instead of side scrolling. Um, and you'll see here the things that have changed. Um, you'll get red star orb fragments um, instead of those orange elite orbs. And you'll get red star orbs again. Uh, you're getting a lot of blue gear raid orbs this time on the tier two. Um, and this is what you're going to need is blue and purple gear. If they gave you gold gear in here, you're not going to be using it really, okay? Until you, you know what I mean, until you get to level 70 anyway. Um, you can't even equip it till then, I think. And that's probably why they do that. But at the same time, man. Do you value this the same as you would value everything I just showed you? And that is what I'm trying to discuss here. Do you think these few red star orbs and this blue raid orbs are worth the orange elites I just showed you? <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're giving you regular energy, not even ISO energy. They're giving you premium orbs, which is different. That's good. Helps you build out a roster. There's some good characters and premium orbs. There's also minions. Um, so you might get a minion from that. Um, but they are giving you the base stat here, which is the... The one two on the gold orbs, which is a must. That's six bucks in my opinion. The five hundred fifty power cores is essentially seven fifty. So right there is thir over thirteen dollars value, in just the first four levels of it. So, and then you got to decide what you value everything else at. The Shang Chi, like I said, um, you're still getting a value if you're spending twenty bucks on this, but I would pass till you get to the level seventy. Um, it's a lot less goodies. Um, just in the fact that it's purple and blue gear and eventually you have so much and they don't pay you to give it back to them. So why are you paying them for it now? You know, it will help you grow a little bit. So it's mainly for big spenders and people that just want to spend a little bit of money. I, I don't know that I would buy this. I'm not going to, I play free to play on this account, 
but I wouldn't. I don't think I'd recommend this either. I don't know. I might just for the Shang Chi and the power course. I might and the gold. You know, it's still not terrible. Let's go ahead and dive into the numbers here. You, on the free side, you're getting one T3 ability orb, uh, four training orbs, one gold orb, 50 shards, 240 regular energy, two premium orbs, 10 red star orbs, um, 16 and a half blue raid gear orbs, um, six and a half purple gear raid orbs, and you're getting 2K elite four credits. So you're guaranteed a four red star of something, but it could be a minion. And you're only getting 2K. Um, so that's not even a half a red four star orb. You know what I mean? So you're getting 253 purple gear. That's including catalysts. Um, so it's not much and you're getting 80 blue gear and the blue gear in this is all ABCs. So it's your, uh, let me look here real quick. It's actually at that two spots that you get it right here. I want to see what they're called actually improved. Okay. So the purple's advanced, the gold superior. So IBCs improved basic catalyst. And I buy those from the supply shop every day till I have at least three or 400 and then I quit buying them and then hopefully I can sustain through orbs. Um, they are a bottleneck when you first start the game. Um, cause you have nothing essentially. Uh, but that is all for free on the free site that you're going to, I'm talking about right now that you're going to get. Um, and I want to show you here at the end cause that's where the best rewards are. Right here, 2000. So if you pay $20, I'm hoping this is only $10. Um, then it, it would definitely be worth it if it's less than $20 for it. But you're getting one four red star. And starting out, that's huge. Especially if you get a good drop. Um, and they probably put RNG into these where you get a decent character um, or something, I would hope. Because if you get a minion, I definitely you ain't going to spend again, are you? I, I wouldn't think anyway. Um, and that would be bad. We don't want to hurt the community here. Um, I'm just trying to lay some facts on you. You know what I mean? All right. So, next up, if you spend the money on the top, top line, you're getting another 50 shards obviously um you're getting two more gold orbs five more training orbs and two more t3 ability orbs as well as the 500 power course that right there is probably worth 20 bucks um you're getting another 240 energy and three premium orbs i think they sell the premium orbs for a buck or two in the offer section usually um is what i would say they value it as about a buck or two so you're getting three more premium orbs 10 more red star orbs 22 more blue raid gear orbs 10.5, 10 and a half purple gear raid orbs, 3k elite four credits if you finish it. And then you're getting another 444 purple gear as well as 80 more improved basic catalysts um, for blue gear. Um, all right, I've talked enough about this. What do you guys think? Is this worth all that gold loot I just showed you on my main account? Um, bear in mind, if you, they gave you the gold uh, gear, you can only use it once you get to level 70 or higher to equip it. Because your character has to be level 70 or higher to equip it. Um, wouldn't you still rather have the gold and all that awesome, awesome loot down below that you could just save until you get to that point? Comment down below. Let me know. I want to check out my uh, baby account here. It is a level 40. Uh, 41 as of today. And uh, this is the one that the strike pass wasn't even loading on, which was really upsetting me. Um, but as you can see, again, you're going to get the same Shang-Chi gold training orbs and power course, which makes this worth it for $20 by itself. Now, the other stuff is, they're basically, it's basically, in my opinion, junk. Um, now the free side is free, and that is a big, awesome giveaway that they're giving to new players. Now, would I pay for the premium on this one? Not being a brand new player to the game, I don't think I would. Um, and when I found out later what other people are getting for their $20, I'd probably be really, really angry. Um, you know what I mean? My money's as good as the other guys. Why is he getting better loot? So, in essence, they should be cranking these through the roof. You should be getting like 40,000 of these. Okay? You need these ability materials so bad in the beginning of the game. So, so bad. Um, and it's junk, essentially, after like your first couple months. You don't really ever have a problem again. Um, and he's getting down below just amazing, amazing loot in place of mine you know what i'm saying so it's kind of upsetting in that aspect but like i said they do also give like 10 million gold out for free to newer players that are below a power level i think or a level i don't know it's a login calendar type deal and i think everybody gets it at a certain point on their uh 
uh, account. Now I want to dive into the numbers here on this level 40 tier one for my baby account. You're, for the free lane, you are going to get the 50 power course, which is awesome. One T2 ability orb, which essentially could be 35 to 50 T2 ability materials, which is one move, essentially. Maybe two, depending on who you spend them on. Uh, you get four training orbs on the free side, one gold orb. So that doesn't change. That's the same as every other tier, and you get 50 Shang-Chi shards. Now, what I do find kind of cool in this one um, is they're going to give you 800 regular campaign energy throughout it 100 here and there um as well as 18 of these legacy orbs on the free side i'm just talking about the free side right now and these drop uh city heroes and such uh captain america you know just amazing characters i think you also get some gold and you might get ability materials or training modules i'm not too sure on that i'd have to go look but what sucks is they're giving you 100 bullseye shards. And to a normal player that watches Avengers, they're going to be like, oh my god, they're giving me 100 bullseye. That's awesome. He is an amazing character. He's getting a new costume in the game. And hopefully a rework, a big rework with it, um, in my opinion. Because he's he's bottom of the barrel at this point. He's he, In my opinion, he's among the worst 25% of characters in the game. Um, and that's real vague, but that's there's 75%. Of the characters which is 150 characters that are better than him guaranteed and you're only going to build maybe a 50 to 100 characters in your whole time of playing the game probably um so moving on um they give you 10 blue gear raid orbs for free they give you zero purple gear raid orbs and they don't compensate it with anything um that i've seen anyway i've always obviously they filled the slot but i don't know what they replaced it with if it was this or this um, you know what I mean? I don't know, but you don't get any purple gear raid orbs and you need purple gear. So especially moving up, I guess, past this part, you would need more purple gear, but look at this 10 of these. Are you kidding me? 10 of these. Are you kidding? Is that even one piece of equipment? I don't know. It's really, really bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> this, it's just awful uh, in my opinion. It, and I am an end game player. I do have a free to play account, but that is some bad loot right there. Look at this, you're 51 in here. You've been doing your dailies every day, playing loyally, and you paid the $20, and they're gonna give you 10 of each of these? That's a slap in the face, man. Um, that is just, in my opinion, that is god awful. Um, now, like I said, this does this is worth $20 just off the Shang-Chi shards alone. Now, this mega orb that you will get if you buy, you get a thousand mega orb fragments for free. You get the other thousand, which completes the orb. For twenty dollars, I think you have to pay twenty dollars to activate the premium, but you get everything on top if you max it. So the the this is two dollars and fifty cents is what a thousand mega orb fragments values at. I buy the mega orbs for five bucks, but now I don't because I have so many characters at seven stars. Um, I usually just get more ultimate food for my five dollars. Um, they try to sell them to you a lot of times for twenty dollars a piece, but only buy them when they're at five dollars for a mega orb. Um, and those come, I would say at least once a month they're offering them out for five bucks for a mega orb. Now, if you're spending tons and tons of money and you're just a well and you're going to go all out in this game, this video ain't for you, obviously. But other than you should get Strike Pass, um, every single one, because it is of value, in my opinion. All three tiers are of value. Now, my question is, is Tier 1 getting ripped off because their loot is so much worse than Tier 2 and Tier 3? Um, and primarily Tier 3 just has way better loot. Um, they're giving, they're giving me 75 gold catalysts at the beginning at uh, level 16 on my main season pass or strike pass level three right here at the end. You had to do all that work to get to the end, play every single day as hard as you could to max this out and level all the way to the end. They're giving you 10 blue improved basic catalysts. You tell me is scopely ripping off new players and leaving a bad taste in their mouth, which is why the player base has a bad turnaround maybe uh or why people quit spending in this game i don't know um or are they just going to take advantages of newer players and hope that they stick around either way and they just don't realize how bad they're getting ripped off because this is what you need you need blue and purple gear at this point these are good starting characters for wave one they are a good starting team but you move off them and marvel strike force um my new beginners guide that i'm making i don't know if it's gonna be marvel strike force 2.0 or 8.0 i don't know it's probably gonna be moral strike force 2.0 is what i've been calling it and it's gonna explain that no matter who you go for in the beginning 
after like the first week or two, you're not even going to farm those characters probably a whole ton till later in game. You're going to move over to your raid and arena team. Essentially, um, you're going to you're just going to farm wide. You're going to farm as many characters as you can um, with your raid orbs and your blitz orbs. Um, but this video has gone on long. I comment down below uh, if you're in my Discord. Let's spark this conversation up there. Um, do you, would you feel ripped off knowing now what you're getting? for paying $20 when you just seen what I get on my tier three here uh, for paying $20 just like you just paid but I'm getting all this amazing wonderful loot all these gold elite orbs all this awesome purple gear do you think they're equal in value um look at these these they try to sell you these I think it's like uh 20 of them for like 100 bucks or something. No, <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's what it is. Um, they try to sell you these. I think it's 10 of them for $3. So they value these at 33 cents a piece. And at that ratio, that's $10 value right there. Um, according to Scopely. Um, and what their evaluation of them is. It does give you a big power boost. And these free ones are amazing. So I'm going to be happy with it. And I would recommend anybody buy this premium on Strike Pass 3. The other two, if you're going to be spending and you've seen this video, that's something you have to decide. Um, again, like and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section on this, whether or not you'd buy that tier one, tier two, or if you buy the tier three, you know what I mean? Um, and if you bought the tier one, I'm not saying you got a bad deal because you definitely got your value of $20, but you got a lot less value than I did for my $20. So um, I just want to bring that to your attention and uh, hopefully Scopely will see this and change it to where they make the tier one so much better that it makes people want to keep buying strike pass okay they already have a problem with selling these let alone putting that bad taste in people's mouths um you all stay healthy get that cersei baby get that cersei we'll see you in the next one folks